Do you find yourself opening a blank model in Simulink just to apply the same configurations every single time? Do you wish that you didn't need to start from scratch with every model? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, you will learn about the different ways to start modeling, how to easily create your own templates, and some helpful tips on how to make the best use of the start page so that you can save time. So let's begin by looking at how to use templates in Simulink. After you open Simulink, you will be greeted with the following start page. From here, you have a few choices. First, you could choose to open a blank model if you'd like to start from scratch. Second, you might choose to open a save model to continue previous work. Third, you might choose to open a template, which is a collection of configuration parameters and blocks that can jumpstart the modeling process. These templates are also easily shared with others. To open a template, either search for a desired template or scroll down, making sure that the search filter is currently selecting all files. You can gain further insight into what's included in a template by clicking the drop down menu here. Now we're going to take a look at how to make your own template. In Simulink, you have the power to create your own templates. A template will maintain all the settings of the model you used to make it. When on the model you desire to create a template of, click the drop down menu next to the save button. Then export the model as a template. Make sure that you save the template in a location that is on the MATLAB path to ensure that your template can be accessed under My Templates on the start page. You'll notice all templates are saved with an SLTX extension. You can also create a template for a project. A project is a great way to organize your work and collaborate with others. If you wish to learn more about projects, check the link in the description. While under the Projects tab, press Share and Export as a Simulink template. It will now appear in the template gallery on the start page. If you want to ensure that everyone who uses your project template also has access to the appropriate model templates, you can add these model templates to your project before creating the project template. Now we're going to take a look at some helpful start page tips. You can choose to set any template as your default template by clicking this drop down arrow here. You can easily find your favorite models and projects by adding them to your favorites list using this star. If you want, you can clear your recent files list by right-clicking a recent file. The Examples tab provides access to reference models that can help you build your own. Each example contains detailed description of the systems they model. Full documentation is easily accessible via each example. In this video, we discussed how Simulink templates can jumpstart new projects and help you share model configuration parameters with others. If you want to learn more about any of these topics, links to documentation are provided in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.